Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with a brand new video. Brand new lot. Let's see. Do, 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 down here. There you go. It's a bead lot. And there's the birdies. And yeah, it looks like some fun stuff in there. Right? Right? Okay. So here we have this guy ready to go and then we're gonna grab a handful grab a handful and we're probably gonna have trouble with untangling so bear with me here's one that isn't tangled at all it's a lovely rust color and it's seed beads so I don't know there might be enough seed beads in here to do another whole lot of those. And here's another seed bead one. And this one is a triple triple swag dealio. Yeah, it's uh it's one of these. It's got like three swags. This one needs to go over here maybe there. Oh well, that didn't take much to untangle. So that's um, it's like a turquoise color and some gold tone. Nice. Here is a. Ooh, what are you? I think this is one that you tie in the back. It looks very Tibetan to me. It has this, and then it's got this. And then, wait a minute, yeah, it's this, it's this, uh, or it's this, <laughs> could do these guys hanging down like that, and then that, or it could be this tied around the back. And, I don't know, it's very Tibetan wood beads, reddish wood beads, and it's got tassels on both ends. That's kind of cool, different. Here's a, who are you? You are me. Hard to read, so let's get this. Hope everyone is doing well this evening. What is this? Oh, <laughs> it's Claire's. And it's a black, and it's a... Uh, I don't know why it has that in the middle. That's weird. That's strange. Hmm. Very strange. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one is Tiger Eye, and... Orange calcite and opalite and opalite and orange calcite and tiger eye. And what's down here on this end? A pretty bead. Ooh, it's got a Buddha bead. And then it has a lovely tassel at the end. It just needs a little bit of combing out. A little bit of reconfiguring. Steam it. I'll have to steam it. And get it all straightened out, but this is gorgeous. It's got the real deal stones in it. Very nice. Pretty, pretty. Very cool. Ooh, you're pretty. There's a bunch of pearls in here. These are faux pearls. And it's a very nice. Oh, that's a shame missing that one and it's missing a large one here come on there that's a little better that's got a nice doll oh, it's so nice it's a shame and it's all faux pearl it's just plastic but a shame. Kind of seen better days. 
here is some fresh water guys and the uh, yeah the other side of the clasp is missing so boo hoo here is an earring hanging on here this one whoop, get off of there oh that's a nice one very uh, 70s colors it's got like a tan and a rust and a gold somebody made those here is oh look it's a earring hook oh wait no it's not it's it's a safety pin type dealio I don't know where that came from here's a headband pink plastic here's a pair of these made in Thailand or no made in the Philippines in the Philippines this Filipino alrighty there we go and those are nice really lightweight though really uh don't hang right because they're kind of Here's a nice one. Very plain. Ooh, they're so pretty on the back. It's leather and pearl and shell. That will go into my Uh, either boho or mermaid. Here's a pink and rhinestone, or pink and clear glued on rhinestone paparazzi. It's time to switch the laundry. Uh, these are fused and they're really neat. Those would be cool in a craft lot because they will glue onto things nicely. Look at that. Look at that. Rainbowy. Ooh. Neat. It is a very nice faux pearl. Again. This one says Japan on it. Faux pearls that go down to painted beads. I think I gave I sent a couple of like this to um to Jen. But they were red. They were red painted. They weren't uh Ugh. This looks like it had a tag on it in green thread so that has to come off but it's in really good shape it's one of those guys from Japan yay Japan beads I like those here's a BJ King wing walker beer I guess uh, here's some stuff tangled up. Oh, that's why, because it's a uh, magnetic, magnetic, and it's completely there. We go, magnetic. Why, why magnetic on that? I don't understand. A teeny little lightweight thing like that does not need a magnet that strong. <laughs> Things are weird. It's weird. Here's a cute one. Pretty glass. Black. Very plain. But yet very nice. It'll hang right too because it's got nice uh, beads. Here are some. The little bubble. Looks like a bubble. And it has a toggle clasp. One of those. I don't know if that's uh it looks like fluorite maybe. 
And then there's some other uh, stone beads on there, but I'm not really a fan. Lucky. Oh, look. It had a light in it. It has a light in it. It's supposed to turn on. Woohoo. Yeah. Whatever. Ooh, here's a pretty glass beads. These are uh, furnace glass, I think you call that, with the applied little doodads on it. Cute. Heavy. Here's one of these guys that wraps around twice. It's polished cotton and it has a little tassel and these are all dyed howlite. So that's a neat one. And here's a Oh yeah. It's a it's a choker with a with one that dangles in this stretchy kind of faux suede stuff. Meh. What else? I'm not real happy with that. Here's another one of those. Oh, look. Here's some goodies. This looks like vintage. Um unmarked French jet yep it's vintage look it's got the little little doohickey here go like this come on go like that it is a black French jet choker sweet that's a nice one this is, I don't know what this is, another one with a really strong magnet that doesn't need it. Does not need it at all. That's a nice bead, though. This is strong enough to hold, like, really nice stone beads, so I don't know what the heck the point of that was. That's just silly. That's just silly. Oh my, what is this? Ooh, that's different. Whee! Oh, I hope none of it's missing. Or, uh, okay. Here's a little rhinestone choker. Don't know who that might be, but check this one out. This is little black seed beads, and then it's this lovely fall of gold tone well, not gold tone they're gold colored these are all um roca rocales no rocales are see-through these are just um, bugle beads gold cream and black and it's a very very lovely lovely fringy statement necklace. I like that. That's really cool. There's some really neat stuff in this batch, I think. Then there's this. <laughs> I love the red rhinestone ones. And the rest are all... Uh, there's some shells and some Lots of uh, Howlite hearts and a big plastic bead. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to snatch these two off of here at some point because they're gorgeous. Here's a little bracelet or I think it's an ankle bracelet. No, a bracelet. Is that a bracelet? Nah, it's, I think it's a kid's ankle bracelet that somebody made with little stars on it. Yellow. Ooh. Here are a whole bunch of glass, 
clear fire polish with a kind of a gray. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice for making things with. I mean, they have a a clasp, but mm, I think they're better off being in in a lot somewhere. Here is a whole bunch of blue coral blue sponge coral dyed of course sponge coral is not usually this color but in the 70s blue coral was very popular I had a couple of necklaces that were blue coral very cool at 16 here's another little oh hey this is from that same chick that did the other ones with the hook I think there's a bracelet that goes with this one that I think went out already somebody bought it mm -hmm. oh, here is a hematite chip bracelet yeah come on now why you do there we go one of those here's a lovely oh hey this is the same as that black one hello little black one where are you there it is look they're the same so somebody made the same same one twice that's cool I wonder if there's more of those in different colors. Here's a one strand of broken seed bead. Here is another strand broken seed bead. Oh wait, this one's not broken. This one is just a strand with a barrel clasp? Seriously? You can't even twist it to get it to go together. There. There we go. That. Single. Plastic. All plastic. Really seen better days. This. Yeah. It's, yeah. Ew. Kind of yucky. There's a little flower. Here is a genuine turquoise and black, uh, what do you call it, black Swarovski bicones. And then I don't know what these little teeny ones are. Let me see, they might be silver. Rub, 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 rub. Yep, they're silver. These little teeny guys in here, which means these guys are probably silver as well. Let's see, rub it on here. And let's see. Mm, that might be. But I know the ones in the middle are the little ones. That's an interesting one. Little tiny thing. This is really pretty. I like the color. I've never been a fan of these organza things. Not a fan of that either. Hmm. Meh. Here is a big old thing of fused pearls. Mardi Robby, if you will. Here's a child's necklace or a really big ankle bracelet. Here is a big P 
piece of elastic. We don't know what that's from. Ouch! I'm still ow, 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 my food. I ate my food. I have another ten minutes. Let's grab this. And grab another handful. Pretty. Oh, hey. Remember all those little... What? Oh, they're flying everywhere. Um, so, this is a single... Going to be a single strand with... Hem, uh, not hematite, but... Um, Howlite crosses. There's a whole bunch of Howlite crosses in another one. In another batch that were to this, I think. Yeah, this is supposed to be three strands. Ugh, goodness. Ugh. Alright, uh, we're just gonna put in there. Get it out of the way. It's in the way. I don't need these guys. Boy, I don't like it when things are falling apart. It makes it difficult. There we go. Put that in there. Oh, look, another one. This one is dyed how light. And it goes with these two. No, not those two. These guys. Hmm. Yes, if you're wondering, I've been watching The Expanse, and that is a really catchy tune. So yeah, we have a purple one, and wait, is this, this is, um, Amethyst, Onyx. Dyed how? Actually, no. This is not dyed how light. This is magnesite. See how it's brown instead of the black lines. Okay. Let's see how many more of those we get. Holy moly! What the heck is this? This one is wrapped with wire or. Silk wrapped. It's got little pom poms and little beads and little coins. And it's a double, double like this. So it hangs like this. And these little hoops go. That's kind of interesting. Different. Very, very tribal. We're at 23. There's an apple seed one. Never like those. Here's a really gross view. Mardi Gras bees. Oh my gosh, what are these? <laughs> Look at this one. So very, very green. Oh wow, my my camera does not like the green. Look at it's totally messed up. There we go. Oh wow, really? I think I have to get it off almost off the side for it to pick up the actual color. That is so very 60s, but this is not. So, those are knotted. They're neat. Here's, uh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? We're at 24. Here is a, whoa, an earring. Seriously? Wow, that's bad. That's a very bad earring. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's pull this through here. There's a little 1928 plain pearl choker like that. 1928 though. Here's a plastic stretchy with some pearls on it. And what have we got? Da -da There's a little kitty bracelet. Purple. Purple. Ooh, here's another one that's um, kind of tribal. It's like a it's like a tan with some ivory colored beads and some black. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. It's very, and it's very simple. One of those kind of hooks. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. And here's another one of these that we have three or four of already. Ooh, check this guy out. Very neat. I mean, it, it's still got good stretch. And it's very lightweight, so it's not going to overstretch on you. So this is what that flower came off of. So I assume it's a flower crown of some sort. It's a little big for my noggin, but we'll wear it anyway. Here's another stretched out headband. Gold tone, naga hide looking stuff. Ew, it feels terrible. It's going by base. Bye base. Bye base. Here is what are you? Plastic. Not stone at all. And it's got copper beads on it. It's a key ring. Here is a prayer bead thingy. Plastic. With a little cross on it. Here's a whole bunch of little bracelets that are put together with one of these to keep them together. I guess we can leave that be. That can stay there, I guess. This one doesn't look like it belongs, but... <laughs> Whatever. Here's another big giant thing of... I like these shells. They're neat. So this is going to be um, Mermaid Lot. Mermaid Lot. Here is a little horse. Um, it looks like Don Quixote. 96 S S S I S K Sisk. We'll have to look that up. I don't know. Braided leather, that might be good for something. I don't know, we'll see. Here is a thing that is all kind of messed up. Oh, no, 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 That, and then this. There we go. It's shell. It's all kinds of shell and um, coconut shell in here. So that's interesting. It's kind of stretched out. Here's another one of those. Small. Here's one of these. Probably rhinestone and magnet, except. Ugh. Huh. Okay. Well, the. The magnet came undone, came off. So that's a shame. Here's. We're at 29. This is, um. Gray faux suede with little silver beads, little pill type things, little biscuits. That's interesting. Who is this? This is 
a name I am unfamiliar with. Veda? Is that Vita or Veda? It's a V. Or a 2. No, it's a V. I think that's Veda. V E D A, Veda. Here, it's a little enamel porpoise. And here's a. Ooh, look at him. What's that say? It says something what? We're at 3029. We're going to be done here in a minute. Lucky brand. I don't know what this was supposed to be. A hair thing. Oh, yeah, it was supposed to be a hair thing. It's all kind of stretched out. But that'll be okay in a craft lot. We pair earrings from Claire's. Plastic. And then our last bit is this little teeny cat's eye bracelet with little plastic beads in between. We're at 31. And we're going to call it for this one. I would like it if you would please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and a down there for me to answer. And remember that I love you all. Thank you all for being here. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.